Hi everybody, it's me, Laura, and I'm back again, and today we're doing the Skinner Blend. Woohoo! All right, so we're gonna cut one square of one color. Get that good. And rip away the rest of the clay. Cut another square of your other color. Rip that, oops, oh, didn't quite do that. <laughs> All right, try again. <laughs> Make sure we cut that real well. Cut it. There we go, I think I got it, yep. Bring the clay away and put that off to the side. Now get your tissue blade, or at least I'll get my tissue blade. I'll bring that in here and cut from one corner to the other, diagonally on one color, and do the same to the other. And then use your blade and go ahead and lift up under those corners, or I should say under that, that clay from your work surface. Bring up the other, and then you take both of these two triangles and put them back together into a square. Just kind of getting your edges all together. There we go. Yeah, now you're gonna fold it. Fold it in half. And so you're gonna see two colors side by side. A little bit more yellow on one side, a little less yellow on the other, and so on. And then you're going to go ahead and put that through your pasta machine. There. Yep. Okay, so we're going to fold it again. There we go. And I like to fold with my lighter color on the outside whenever I'm doing this method. The reasoning is, is because when you um, use the lighter color on the outside, you, usually the darker color is going to overtake your lighter color no matter what you do. So it's better to have that lighter color on the out outside to kind of give you a fighting chance as to like, okay, I want to save a little bit of that lighter color. <laughs> there we go. And that is my Skinner blend done in the traditional method. Uh, maybe one more time. Oh, and I'm going to roll the end in there a little bit. Kind of got a little raggedy there. There. There we go. So this method or technique that you are seeing right here, this is not the one I use most of the time. In fact, it's rare if I do. <laughs> no. Um, part of the reason is a lot of people who do the Skinner Blend technique and they use this method, the reason why I do not use it is because you cannot, at least in my mind, you can't control the blended part. It's a very big area that gets blended, and you have a little bit of your original color on the bottom and the top, which in this case is yellow and the red-pink, on both sides. And there's not a lot left of it. I like to see a little bit more of my original colors in my Skinner blend. So for me, I would rather do this other technique. And with that, let's move on and see how this other technique, this method works. It's the one I use all the time now, and I hope that you will come to use it too. Okay, so now we're going to start out with another wad of yellow <laughs> and a wad of my red pink. And notice here, I'm not going to use a cutter at all. We're just going to take these two, we're going to lightly Put the yellow right over the pink, just slightly, so it just overlaps a little bit. And you flip it over, and you can see this ridge here. Take your yellow and fold it in towards the ridge. Don't overlap the pink with your yellow, but just meet right up to it. There's a hole, there's a gap there, don't worry about that. Go over to the other side, do the same thing. You're going to take that red, you're just going to meet up to the pink. And don't worry about the gap, it's going to all work out. And then you take that, you put that into your machine. And remember, two colors in, two colors out, side by side. That's the way you, you want to do that. Fold it over. Here we go again. And just run it right through. And I always go, you know, I'm cutting off that little extra there. So cut that off, put that to the side. And then I'm going to fold it over. I try to get it, and you can't really tell on this piece so much, that there's quite a bit of yellow anyway. But I try to keep that yellow on the outside. 
And again, the reasoning is to see my lighter color in the blend than having the blend take over my yellow entirely. So here's the one thing you don't do with your Skinner blend ever, and that is folding your one color right on top of the other. Yeah, that's a no-no. Don't do that. <laughs> if you do that, you'll wind up with orange eventually. <laughs> it just doesn't work unless you want to try for a spiral cane. <laughs> but yeah, that's the way you need to do it. You need to have your yellow and your red sitting right next to each other with the blend in between, not on top of each other, but right next to each other. Again, with that blend in between. So now let's talk about why I like this blend so much. You see how I'm folding this? And I've got a little bit of that pink red going right over into the yellow. That's how I can control my blend. It gets a little wonky here and there, but all you do is you just kind of, you just, I fold it back and forth, working that yellow into the red and the red into the yellow. This way then you get about what you really want. If you want more yellow on top and not a bunch of blend, this way, when you try to fold it over and you bring that a little bit of pink over into the yellow and so on, it works really great. Now let's go ahead and fold this over one more time. Let's fold in from the ends because I'm getting a little bit, not as much control. I'd like to have it a little bit shorter. There we go. Fold it again. Kind of get that looking a little more even. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, and again. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to cut off, trim it up a little bit. And there I have my blend. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and do another Skinner blend with this technique, this method, without my commentary. And you guys can just enjoy it as it flows. So right here we have my two blends, the one using the traditional method and then the other one. And you can definitely see the difference between 
the one that has a lot more yellow and pink on the ends, and then the other one that's mainly blended all the way through. So I just wanted to throw this in at the very end, and it's just lightening up your center part of your blend. You're taking a little bit of uh, white, and you're just I'm just throwing some down in the center there. I'm going to fold this up. That's right, fold it up, and then I'm going to put right through my pasta machine. And with a couple of folds through the pasta machine, it's going to lighten up that orange area into kind of a peach. And there you're starting to see that lighter orange come through right in the middle where that white was at. So if you ever are blending like two very dark colors together, that's one way to lighten it up. So there you have our three different methods of Skinner Blend. One using the traditional method, the second one of course using my method, and the third one using a little bit of lighter white clay in the center. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and if you did, I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I am sending out the very biggest of hugs to you all. Take care and have a great day.